Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones both traded bearish yesterday. It has given a good drop and today again trying to trade bearish. Now what to expect? Can we expect a recovery with the US cash session or is it going to be a bearish day again? Which position you should take trading Dow Jones and Nasdaq? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis. This is the second update. Generally, I share first update with the Asia session. So do watch that also. Let's start first to look into Tech 100. And yes, you can remain updated by joining my free Telegram channel. Links are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now look at the early charts for US 100. See almost getting a bottom at 13.050. See first bottom here at 13.040, then 5.0. And now this time it is trying to get it slightly higher. But at the same time, must must not forget lower highs higher lows are something which we are looking at so if you see it trading above 13120 you can buy but then 13150 uh, rather i said till 13150 do not buy and only if you see it trading above 13150 possibly you can stay long now if you look at the complete movement for the week see higher highs and almost flat bottom so it is still trying to trade in this box above 13150 more bullishness can be seen a stock stick scene reversing the MACD trying to converge crossover for a buy RSI trying to look upwards and stay bullish and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts also see here it has shown a reversal then drop then a retracement it has to break past this high 151350 zone in order to confirm a complete reversal and then see double bottom it means that it can try to achieve the highs there. So if it breaks past 15,130,150 zone, you can expect 15,220 and plus plus levels. At the same time, breaking below 13,050, certainly more bearishness is going to be seen. The stock is trying to look upwards. The MACD is still bearish, trading with little divergence. And if you look at the RSI, this is also started to look upwards and show a little strength. Now, similar observation on the 3R charts. The only observation which is important is the reversal sign here on the 3R charts. 3 red candles, 1 reversal sign, reversal here. Possibly, I'll wait for the second candle. If it breaks past 13,150 levels, certainly bullishness is going to be seen. So, in between 150 and 050, do not take any trade. The stock has started to look upwards. The MACD is still trading bearish with little divergence. The RSI trying to look upwards and show a little strength here. And if you look at the 4R chart, Similar is the observation on the 4R charts. If you connect the dots here, three candles, bottom they connected, lower highs, higher lows. So 13050, 13150, do not trade. The stock is seen rising. The MACD, however, is divergent and bearish. The RSI is almost trading flat and comfortable. And if you look at the daily charts, now look at the daily charts here. Now see, daily charts, you can see higher lows. That is what we had seen on the charts. And these are beautifully aligned. Now, this means 13050, you have to wait for it to break past 13050 levels, else it is just a retracement. And if you just connect the dots, so possibly once it breaks past 13130150 levels, certainly it can give you a breakout on the upside. You have to trade with caution there. The stock I stick which was trading overbought is now looking down. The MACD is trying to converge, it is still in green. RSI trading near to the high. So very simple. Do not trade between 050 and 150 levels. On the upside, 13220, 13280 levels are the targets. Beyond that, 13400, 500 will see. And on the downside, if it break past 13050, you can still expect a good support at 13000 levels and below that 12950. Only and only if it breaks below 12950, further bearishness is going to be seen in Nasdaq 100. Take your trades accordingly. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones and yes, before we proceed, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 21st batch starts on 10th of April. Reserve your seats now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now US 30 also on the RDHRC 33280, almost the same levels and this time the slightly higher level. So it is an increasing slope and if you connect the doors here, you'll find 33. Uh, 450, 460 zone is a very good resistance and beyond that it is again going to fly for 33,600. See the stock I stick which was, which was at bottom looking upwards. The MACD is in red trying to converge crossover. RSI trying to look upwards and show a little strength. And if you look at the 2 hour charts, see on the 2 hour charts most importantly see a drop here. Consolidation lower highs, flat bottom. Let it break out beyond 33,450 levels. Then certainly we can see 33,600 and plus plus levels are also possible. The stock I stick has dropped. MACD divergent and bearish, 
RSI has dropped a bit and if you look at 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts likewise you can find out see uh, first of all drop retracement again looking down flat bottom trying to reverse a reversal sign and trying to reverse here we have to wait for it to break past 33 450 levels the stock i stick looking down the macd divergent in bearish the rsi is almost flat and if you look at 4 hour chart on the 4 hour chart too it is just a consolidation it let it give a breakout the stock i stick at bottom macd divergent in bearish and see this crossover is happening at a slightly higher levels and if you connect the dots, yes, it can possibly continue with the bearish momentum for a little while. The RSI looking down and if you look at the daily chart. Now look at daily chart. See, 33,250 levels is something I will look forward for it to break below and then trade bearish. In between 33,450 and 33,250, these 200 points, let's be extremely cautious. The stock I stick is looking dropping here. It is overbought. The MACD is in green. The RSI is trading near to the top. Considering this, buy at 33,450, expect 33,525 and 600 levels at the next target beyond that sky is the limit. On this other side, if you see it trading at 33,300, you can sell there, expect 33, rather I will say 33,280, 250 zone till 33,250, you have to be very cautious with any sell entries there. Hence, if you are taking a sell at 33,300, you have to be watchful of just 20, 50 points. And if you only want to risk, then only take a trade there. Else below 33,250, only further bearishness is going to be seen, where we might look at 33,100, 33,000 and below levels. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship patch and signals channel. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.